Who would have thought that a small company founded in 1986 would become one of the biggest disruptors in the luxury watch industry? Just imagine a new jewelry brand entering the watch market and standing alongside established luxury brands like Rolex, Cartier, and Audemars Piguet. Well, when you have love and dedication for creating high-end timepieces since your childhood, nothing is impossible. Jacob Arabo has proven that with his brand Jacob & Co. But how was it possible? Let's jump into the video to find out. Jacob Arabo was a member of a big family. Having five elder sisters, he was the youngest star. So we can say that the bling of jewelry around him was part of his early age. His father used to do multiple jobs, but to manage the expenses of the family, young Jacob quit his academic journey and opted for a jewelry-making course. From there, his world of imagination caught heights. During his enrollment in the jewelry-making course, Jacob was surprised to see those tiny objects holding a bigger vision after getting a symmetry. So, upon completion of the course, he grabbed the opportunity to work at a wholesale jewelry center for a minimum weekly wage. This was a turning point in his life. However, working there was not more than disheartening because who would like getting things done for others? But where there is a will, there is a way. So Jacob first built a supporting community by opening a jewelry line at the age of 21, named Diamond Quasar as there would be no escape for the people wearing his jewel pieces to deny his visionary watches. He put his heart into those tiny jewel pieces and won the hearts of big names in the entertainment industry. Jacob the Jewel, this prominent name, was also given to him as the result of his intricate jewel magic that caught the eye of famous rapper Biggie. That name gifted him heights in the pop industry, as we can see in the lyrics of songs by Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and many more. People even dared to call Jacob the King of Bling because of his revolutionary work in creating men's jewelry pieces. His first innovative piece was introduced in 2002 as the Five Time Zone. The trend-setting element in this watch was its interchangeable bezels and straps, which got him famous clients too, except for the name in the Swiss watchmaking industry. Recently, they made another smash hit with the name of Jacob & Co. 5 Time Zone Diamond Watch. It has a jewel set design. But as we were seeking the early models by Mr. Jacob Arabo, next in line is his first Swiss creation. In the name of the film director Quentin Tarantino, this watch was called the Quentin and was launched in 2007. Consisting of a unique vertical tourbillon along with the Mega 31 Day Power Reserve, that timepiece skyrocketed his career game. He stopped being called upon for his out-of-the-box ideas as this piece was a head-turner for the Swiss watchmaking era. Later, he displayed a significant article named Epic SF24. That invention was one of his one-of-a-kind watches and used to show the time of 24 world cities. Yes, 24 cities of the world. The usage of a patented flip-flap system was made possible in it. Calling it a breakthrough would be fair enough. Next in line, I would love to discuss his most acknowledged wrist wear, the Astronomia Tourbillon, whose theme was all about majestic stars. Having a sapphire crystal dome featuring an architectural movement, this playful design captured the time as floating in space. Lots of artistic versions of this watch took place in the market afterward, but we know who painted the canvas first, right? In 2018, Jacob & Co. showcased the Twin Turbo Furious, having a pitboard style mechanical reference, meaning the time was shown as the info boards we see in racing. Insanely cool. It won't be wrong that Jacob & Co. was not experienced in drawing attention only, but picturing a brand's real identity into their design was his mission. Most recently at Watches & Wonders 2023, Jacob & Co. gave the surprise launch of the most expensive watch named the Billionaire Timeless Treasure. A significant part of Jacob & Co.'s journey includes partnering with individuals or companies that are risk takers. When you're in the game of transforming industries, being a risk taker is necessary to disrupt the norms, and that's exactly what Jacob & Co. did. Jacob & Co. presented the Opera Godfather, a musical watch due to their partnership with Paramount Pictures. That wristwear played the theme song of the Godfather movie. A year later, they partnered with hypersports car manufacturer Bugatti, and the result, the Bugatti Chiron Tourbillon, 
The masterpiece was the world's first luxury watch in history, containing a fully working replica of the Bugatti W16 engine. But just like the Bugatti itself, this watch was also not for everyone because of its expensive price tag of over $1.5 million. The early pieces of Jacob the Jeweler were made public through the two hip-hop celebs, whom we know as Sean Puffy Combs and Biz Markey. Puffy challenged Jacob to put a diamond on his Rolex watch, which Jacob nailed down. Then there was a time when football star Cristiano Ronaldo was selected as their brand ambassador for the promotion of the Ghost 5 Time Zone watch collection. However, as of now, they have clearly stated that they do not have any ambassadors, but prefer fruitful partnerships. Other noteworthy clients from big entertainment sectors include Jennifer Lopez, Michael Jordan, Salma Hayek, Madonna, Rihanna, and Sofia Vergara. We still remember an interviewer asking Jacob why your clientele is so versatile. And his epic reply was that I invited them to my parties, offering them customized pieces they could wear for magazines. Actually, it's not a significant part of their business anymore. In a recent interview, Jacob made it clear that catering to personal designs is only 10 to 15% of our business. The reason is obvious. Jacob loves bringing innovation for selectives. From years of craftsmanship, they made their vision very clear, which is stubborn execution. Explaining his core beliefs in an interview, he said, I worked with the best gem suppliers and jewelers in jewelry making. A prominent gain in the brand's reputation came in 2019. Three Jacob & Co. watches were selected as finalists for the Grand Prix de Horlogerie de Geneva GPHG, the Oscars of the Swiss watchmaking world. Next year, four Jacob & Co. watches were declared as finalists. Arabo also was welcomed as a member of the GPHG Academy. As Jacob admitted, I think I'm fortunate as I approach watchmaking as a watch lover. We cannot forget this. Since he was well aware of the Swiss watchmaking traditional approach, he understood that no other fellow or brand would foresee the success of his watch designs, but he was fearless. Their current top markets are Geneva, New York, Dubai, and China. So this is how Jacob & Co. became the world's most sought after watch brand, known for its unique and luxurious timepieces that push boundaries in functionality and design. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts on Jacob & Co. and their impact on the watch industry. For me, the story of Jacob Arabo and his brand is an inspiring one of passion, risk-taking, and innovation. Now if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest luxury watch releases and news. Keep ticking, and goodbye.